remember. In week one, we learned how to be a really good suit. A suit is someone who is friends with the clients, is creative, gets really involved and has a fun personality. We are using the brand H&M, which is really good for us because we're all young individuals who shop there. So we really know what the brand is about and um, we really got involved in it, um, which sort of reflects on the suit brand. In week two, we focused on the guest lecture, using creativity to fuel your thinking and began breaking this down in relation to our project. The idea of divergent and convergent thinking really helped us to fully understand our issue before we solely focused on a solution and how to fit that around our issue specifically. We started off with some huge ideas, then scaled it back to a single technology option that would best suit our client and our issue. Week 3, we learnt about how we should manage and plan our time for a project, as well as having clear and concise objectives that you want to achieve. Because without that, expecting a good result is just a dream. Take my group for example. We all have clashing personalities. So we have to plan and know who's doing what at the start. Because if we didn't do that, we would be taking a highway down the hill. An essential part of the week 4 content was to understand the concept of smart risk taking. It looked at the beneficial impact one can have when taking risks in the work environment, but at the same time being smart about it. This was really interesting to learn because I am a risk taker. I like to live life on the edge. I decided to take the risk of filming on the location of our client H&M. Unfortunately, I was actually asked to vacate the premises after filming in the female change rooms. We managed to learn that with all procedures and tasks, there are limits, and that invites their own set of constraints. If I had to mention the biggest constraint of the group, it would be the group itself. They're seriously dragging me down, like my shoulders hurt, I'm carrying this team. No, but really though, the, um, the major constraints that marketers do face include constraints of category interest, constraints of budget, and constraints of time. All three were things that we faced in our project. But then in week five, we became more efficient and more effective in prioritizing, identifying time wasters, and becoming more clear and concise with our records. Um, in this week's lecture and tutorial, it really helped us in our major assessment because there are many little parts to it that we need to keep track of. So we need to keep a table of when someone's doing it and when it should be finished by. So this really helped us in the deadline coming up to when it was finished. Week 6 focused on managing difficult relationships. This week was less about our project content and more about how we interacted with each other as a group. We decided to be proactive and in the meeting following this tutorial, we met up and addressed any issues that we might have within the group. We also discussed which types of difficult characters we're most associate with and how we can work on avoiding these and how to work more cohesively together. For example, Christian is a tank, aggressive and intense, pure undilated ruthlessness. Sam is a yes man. You could tell him our project was selling ice to an Eskimo, and he'd agree. Taylor's a sniper. Eye rolling is her specialty. And I, th I'm a think I know it all. I like all the attention, and I like to exaggerate here and there. Definitely not in these descriptions or anything though. Week 7 focused on what it means to be proactive. It means to take initiative and organise during events to prevent last minute exhaustion. One thing that stood out was the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule. 
and how, how relevant it is to maximize our performance. It hit home to us because we understood why we weren't working to our full potential. Knowing this, we strategized and planned for our project. So by the time the deadline was upon us, we were prepared and confident with the end result. During week 8, we had a guest lecture which talked to us about how to overcome fear. This includes more than just work and study, but life as well. My fear of working in a professional environment is something I needed to overcome. So throughout the project, I applied the following things to do so. There are five key things to take away with overcoming fear. The first, acknowledge my fear. The second, break the challenge into smaller sections. The third, tackle one at a time and gain momentum. The fourth, don't lose sight of the end goal. And the last, to congratulate myself. Then in week 10, we watched the pitch documentary. Um, so it's sort of about the two companies coming together and then pitching to a, a client. Um, it really helped us learn the process of it. So not only the pitch, but behind the scenes. So going back to the agency, learning about the communication processes and being really involved. Even if you are a junior, you're meant to um, put forward your idea and stuff like that. Then it showed us the actual pitch and um, which company worked better and why they worked better because they um, knew more about the company, they bought their products to really get an understanding of it. Um, this helped us when we were doing our major assessment with the H&M because we do shop there so we did get to know the um, client quite well. So in week 11, we learned about persuasive presentations. We learned about the basics of presentations and things such as hygiene factors. Factors whose absence will lead to dissatisfaction, but whose presence doesn't necessarily lead to satisfaction. So these are things in a presentation such as eye contact. You would notice if it wasn't there, but just because it's there doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get top marks. We also learned that the audience needs to take home a message that is both memorable and captivating. Steve Jobs does this really, really well in his Twitter-like headlines, such as Apple reinvents the phone when they release the iPhone. Just week 11 generally was about learning how to do a good presentation. I'm not going to rant on about the content and how it affected ours, because the last 15 minutes would have shown you that we aced it.